Holy humidity, Sergeant Swamp Ass. I am the Mighty Plantain, and it is sticky and muggy here in central Maine. Oh, what a better way to cool off than with a nice glass of uh, room temperature whiskey. What the fuck, you know? I'm willing to sweat for some good booze. I didn't put the air conditioner in today. Instead, I went shopping. Uh, I'll have to get that taken care of sometime this weekend. But we're looking at another whiskey from a local main distillery. This is uh, Liquid Riot out of Old Port, uh, Portland, basically, same area. Uh, I've done their single malt before. We're looking at their oat whiskey this time. But yeah, Liquid Riot distilling. These guys, they, they make a lot of great beers, too, out of their brewery, Liquid Riot Brewing. Uh, the distillery, the single malt whiskey, is it's great. Like I said, I've reviewed it before. I went back for another bottle. Uh, I've never, well, I, I don't believe I've ever had an oat whiskey before. So this will be something new. I've seen rye's. And they actually do make a rye as well, as well as, I believe, a bourbon style. And I uh, I was going to do the rye, but when I went, there wasn't any left at the local store, so I went with the oat. So, chances are, based on their beers and the one whiskey I've had, I'm not going to be disappointed. Um, I, I I like the looks of the swing top on the bottle, but it can be dangerous. you got to remember to hold it when you pour, otherwise you could crack your glass. And that gets harder to remember as the liquid level in the bottle gets lower obviously so without any further ado let's check this stuff out so oat whiskey it does seem to be a little oop that was a waste it does seem to be a little lighter in color than a lot of the whiskeys i've had lately not not by too much though it's got a caramel color to it. It's actually almost a little bit hazy, I think. No, well, maybe not. No, maybe not hazy. Maybe it's just the way the light's hitting the glass. But it's just slightly cloudy, maybe. Well, we're letting that breathe a little bit. Let's see here. Anything in particular about oat whiskey? Those are just some basics about Liquid Riot. Well... This bottle of aged oat whiskey started out as a sweet, creamy batch of oatmeal made from organic main-grown oats. We carefully distill out all the alcoholic goodness while retaining aromas of fresh oats and a creamy mouthfeel aged in new charred American oak barrels where it takes on color and flavor from the wood. An uncommon whiskey indeed. Huh. So it does start out as actual oatmeal. So, uh... Interesting. I wonder if anybody else is doing something similar. There's probably tons of oat whiskeys out there, and I just haven't been exposed to them yet. But, uh, who knows? It's definitely different for me. But yeah, I'm loving the color. It's, um, it's interesting the way it's sticking to the glass. I mean, it's definitely got some stay on there and some legs, but it, it almost looked... When you roll it slowly, it stays up there longer, and it almost, um, it leaves like these jagged, jagged looking legs on there, like it's, um, like it's not running down evenly. It almost looks like a, a splash more than a, more than getting coated, but if you go quickly, it pretty much runs all down very smoothly. So, that's interesting. <sighs> Allergies are acting up. Sorry if I'm sniffling and snorting here. I'll definitely clear up any congestion. It's got a nice, strong aroma to it, but it, it's a very alcohol-heavy aroma. Underneath that, though, I'm actually getting some of the woody charring from the barrels, uh, I assume. But it, just a very nice woody char. Maybe a hint of a grainy aroma. A little bit of the odiness coming through. Odiness, I don't even know if that's a word, but... 
oatiness. How much like Oats or Garfield's hated companion you are. Okay, I, I haven't even drank yet tonight, and I'm already getting stupid, so uh, we can see how tonight's going. Getting a little bit of sweetness now, too. So this is going to be interesting. Well, that's got some bite to it. Whew. That's got some serious bite to it. I mean, it's definitely got a huge booziness to it. I mean, the alcohol hits you right up front. And to be honest, it, it's a little harsh. <clears throat> it's only 45% ABV, which makes it a 90 proof. So it's, it's a little heavier than some whiskeys, but certainly not so bad that it should be that harsh. I, I, I'm going to be honest, the, the amount of alcohol kick that I'm getting from it actually reminds me more of something like 151. Um, I mean, obviously it's not that high in, in alcohol content, but it, it tastes that way. It's very alcohol heavy. Underneath that, though, it does settle really nicely. Um, it's just a little jarring up front, but it does settle very nicely into a very um a very nice charred flavor there's a hint of sweetness there and there is that oaty that oat <laughs> the oat flavor is coming through i mean it's um it's like pouring a ton of booze almost uh, like pouring a ton of booze on a bowl of oatmeal um I mean, I like it, and the more I drink it, the less that booziness is hitting me. But I got to admit, the first few sips with that that heavy, heavy alcohol flavor, and, and maybe it's just this particular bottle because it is done in small batches. But this particular bottle hit me with a really heavy alcohol um, kick, I guess, and it was a bit off-putting at first. So this is not going to be one of my go-tos. Um, for local whiskeys, it's not bad. It's definitely something you should check out for yourself. And like I said, the more you drink it, the more it mellows out on, on the palate and the easier it is to drink. That's true of anything, but it, with this, it's very markedly so. I mean, even just a few sips into the glass, it's gotten a lot smoother for me. So, um, like I said, it's not going to be one of my go-tos for for local whiskeys. I would grab their single malt definitely over this, um, but I sure as hell wouldn't turn it down. It's not it's not bad. It's very good. It, it's got some complexity to it. It's just that initial few sips with that heavy alcohol content hitting me, or alcohol flavor, I should say, because like I said, it's only 90 proof. Um, it just kind of surprised me. It was a bit off-putting. So who knows? Another bottle later on might be different so i may i may just grab a second bottle and check it out but um you know at any rate you should check it out for yourself and anything from liquid riot because so far these guys have been all good um like i said just a little bit off putting with this one in the beginning but after it settles it's definitely a solid whiskey and i don't regret buying it um you know hit me up down below in the comments and email link let me know what you have to say about this whiskey if you've had it hell we can just talk liquid riot we'll talk other whiskeys beers whatever um while you're down there don't forget to like and share this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get a no notification every time i post a new one um yeah i think that's really all i've got to say check out liquid riot any of their stuff pretty good um, again, I might hit up a second bottle of this at some point just to see if, uh, if this particular one was a little harsher than the rest or 
I'm always cautious with that. It looks like I'm straining harder than I should be, but it's because I'm trying to hold it back from snapping. Anyway, um, but yeah, not a bad whiskey at all. But I think I'd, I'd gravitate more towards their single malt than this one. Um, thanks for tuning in, folks. Cheers.